An investigative hearing in East Palestine wrapping up tonight with startling details exposed about rail car inspections. The transportation union testifying today that the train car that caused the derailment was never inspected, but could have been several times along the route. Erica Stanish has more. Yeah, when you look at the data, a trade union submitted, representing railroad employees testifying Friday what goes into rail car safety inspections, saying nearly 10 years ago, inspectors would have three and a half minutes to inspect a car. When you look at it now, that same 215 inspection, according to the last page of that data, shows that the inspectors were taking 30 seconds for that 215 mechanical inspection. Jason Cox says the quality of inspections have changed, blaming there's not enough time or manpower resources. The term I'm looking for here is, is time stress. When you decrease from three minutes per car to a third of that, you see issues creep into the system. The NTSB says Norfolk Southern furloughed a large amount of employees, including safety inspectors, and then increased train lengths and shortened inspection times. It's a real problem and uh, it, it needs to be corrected. Cox also testifying that Norfolk Southern would threaten safety car inspectors with discipline if they didn't inspect cars in that 30 second time frame. He says time restraints and limited workers is exactly why defects on the train heading to East Palestine may have been missed. At um, Decatur, Illinois, one of the places that this particular train went through, um, I have, if memory serves, there were two inspectors on duty, but due to the time restraints, the fact that they've reduced the number of inspectors, there was no opportunity to do a roll-by inspection on that train. Erica Stanish, KDK News.